Privacy is a human right. We at Microsoft have enshrined a set of principles that ensure that we preserve this human right, protect this human right. We ensure that when we use data, it is to benefit the user. We ensure that the user is always in control of their data and its use. It's just like security. We're never going to be done. We are going to continuously commit ourselves to work to preserve privacy. We need to ask ourselves not only what computers can do, but what computers should do. That time has come. We formed an ethics board inside the company, which is a very diverse group of people who govern the products we build, the projects we engage in. But beyond that, we are also investing in tools, because one of the key things that we have to do is put tools in the hands of developers. Microsoft is partnering with DJI to bring Azure IoT Edge right to their drones. And this is significant because it means any Azure developer using Azure Machine Learning can develop AI models and deploy them to their drones. It also means I can take that same AI model that went to the Qualcomm camera and deliver it to the DJI drone. Now, this incredible drone is a DJI M210 RTK, and it's capable of running Azure IoT Edge right on board. This smaller drone is a DJI Mavic Air, and it's perfect for learning the principles of flight and for developing and testing your AI models. Now, it's all well and good to talk about drones, but I bet you'd like to see me fly one, and I would love to. But unfortunately, in a room like this, you need a commercial drone pilot license to do that, and they're incredibly hard to get. So for that, we're going to welcome Francisco from DJI out to the stage to fly for us. Come on out. Now, Francisco, Francisco is going to be flying the DJI Mavic Air over the pipes that you see here, which represent the ones 150 feet up on the roof. And the Mavic Air is going to be streaming video back to the laptop here, which is running Azure IoT Edge as well as our AI model, all packaged up in a great UWP app. And when it sees the anomaly, it'll draw that same yellow bounding box uh, that you saw with a Qualcomm camera. All right, let's check it out. Now, as you can see, we're detecting that anomaly in real time. For the first time ever, we're able to stream video back from that drone to this laptop running IoT Edge in our AI model, which was developed in the cloud. <laughs> and as I mentioned, the M200 will be running that right on board. Great, thank you, Francisco. <laughs> I'm really thrilled to announce the preview of Project Brainwave. Project Brainwave is a distributed real-time AI fabric that today is working with FPGAs from Intel to bring the best-in-class real-time AI, low-latency AI capabilities and inferencing capabilities. It has 5x lower hardware latency than TPU for real-time AI. And this is going to be available in preview for developers. And we're also going to extend it all the way to the edge. We're working with our system partners to take FPGA and make it available wherever Azure is available. And we have many customers who have these high precision and high throughput needs who are working with us. And one such customer is Jable. And so let's roll the video to show you how they're using FPGA for real-time AI already.
People tend to think of Jabil as a contract manufacturer. We are more than that. We're a manufacturing solutions provider. We've been talking with Microsoft about Project Brainwave. The benefit of the FPGA is the ability to deploy our machine learning models at the edge at a lower cost than GPUs, but at a higher performance capability than CPUs. The early test result from Microsoft has shown FPGA is capable of predicting 550 images a second, comparing with a CPU cluster with 40 images a second. The potential for Project Brainwave is substantial in allowing us to move forward at scale for machine learning across Jabil. Very exciting. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. I've added milk to your shopping list. Alexa, open Cortana. Cortana here, how can I help? How's my day? I'll take a look. I see two events for today. First up, at 5.30 p.m., celebration with Tom at Harvest Vine. And then, at 8 p.m., pick up Maddie from soccer. What can I do for you? Send an email to Tom Taylor saying, I'll see you tonight. Sure, I'll email Tom Taylor. I'll see you tonight. Ready to send it? Yes. Great, I've sent it. How can I help? I'm done. Very cool. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I love being able to talk to both Cortana and Alexa on my PC. Let me show you how they help me through my day. Oh, I see I have an email for Megan about dinner tonight at Harvest Vine. Hey, Cortana, where is Harvest Vine? Harvest Vine is about two miles away at 2701 East Madison in Seattle. Better get going. Hey, Cortana, open Alexa. Hi there, this is Alexa. How can I help? Get me a ride to Harvest Vine. There is a Uber X two minutes away from your Alexa address. Should I order it? Yes, please. OK, requesting your ride. This may take a few moments. Would you like to continue? Yes. OK, your Uber driver, Sarah, is arriving. Look for a Toyota Camry. What's next? Turn off the lights, please. What else can I help you with? What do you think about Cortana? I like Cortana. We both have experience with light rings, although hers is more of a halo. Is there anything else? Thanks, that's it. Just a few of the things that Alexa and Cortana helped me do throughout my day. Now this experience is still in a, in a limited beta, but you can go to this website to be notified when we go live. Today, we are incredibly excited to announce two new mixed reality business applications, Microsoft Remote Assist and Microsoft Layout. And these are joining the Microsoft 365 family and available for public preview starting May 22nd. With Microsoft Remote Assist, first-line workers can bring an expert right where they need them, and they can share what they're seeing. This is really important because often they don't have the help they need on site. They can collaborate to solve problems faster using heads up, hands free, video calling, image sharing, and mixed reality annotations. And the IT administrators, they can count on secure access, secure communications through Microsoft Teams. And then those experts, they don't have to head out into the field or hop on a plane to solve problems. This really expedites their troubleshooting and it eliminates a ton of travel costs. Now, with Microsoft Layout, teams can experience designs at real-world context. They can share and edit those designs in real time, and they can make better decisions faster. There are a lot of ways to design spaces right now, but it's so hard to visualize them in the real world 
at size, scale, and context, which means that decisions end up taking a lot longer than they should, and often costly rework is needed. But with Microsoft Layout, teams can make decisions that used to take weeks or months, they can often make them in just days. So you remember those workflows I was talking about at the beginning? So first, we're releasing these two applications against those first two workflows. And soon, we'll be sharing more about how we're going to help with training and development and product-focused collaboration. At ThyssenKrupp Aerospace, we partner with the world's leading aerospace companies to simplify their supply chain management. We have a complex flow of materials in our factory to keep production running smoothly. Our top priority is keeping people safe and making sure they have access to all the tools and information they need to make better decisions quickly. Microsoft's mixed reality tools are helping us get there. As we take on new projects, we need to optimize our workflows. With Microsoft Layout, we're able to make design changes in our actual factory space with 3D holograms. Once we have an optimized workflow, we use spatial analytics to help drive quality improvements. We're running 24-7 on most saws, so it's expensive to take one offline. Spatial Analytics listens to our machines and helps to tell us the right time to replace a saw blade, balancing quality with the bottom line. Integration with Teams and Cortana allows our workers to make quick, in-context decisions that speed up production. With Microsoft's mixed reality tools, we're able to work faster, safer, and at a higher quality than ever before. We can't wait to scale this across our entire organization. There's so much possibility.